I have seen a lot of different dabs over the years, varying consistencies, varying qualities of concentrate. Some stuff I see, it just makes my mouth water. I'm like, oh my God, I want to dab that. And some stuff you see it, it looks so bad. It looks like it would be a punishment to dab it. Like punishment for your crimes, you must hit 700 dabs of poop soup. And not too long ago, I told the story of the worst dabs I ever saw, which talks about a shipment I was supposed to receive at a dispensary I was working at. But I'm back today with another story about some dabs that were equally as bad. Some stuff that I never even came close to putting on my nail because, oh my God, who's supposed to dab that? So years ago, when I was a bit more into working out in martial arts, I went to an MMA gym a lot. I trained almost every day. I made a little bit of content on the side, martial arts and fitness related. And my nick name in the gym was dabs every time i'd show up they'd be like hey dabs is here because i would bring dabs and do just a nice little sesh before i would do any working out a lot of mma fighters like to get high so most of the dudes in the gym would just join me for a sesh we get super baked and they get right into training it's actually more common than you'd think in mma gyms but there was this one guy that would come to the gym from time to time he'd be there infrequently but i'd see him every once in a while and he was into smoking but he never really joined us for the sesh he'd always look at this stuff like oh that looks okay oh those dabs look all right it was always like backhanded compliment for my concentrate like are you negging my dabs right now okay but i've seen better never smoked with us but the dude smoked so he would talk about it from time to time i found out eventually that his brother worked in a dispensary as an extractor so we had some conversations about dabs here and there well, one day he overhears me talking about what i get at the dispensaries and how much it usually costs me that kind of stuff and he's like oh buddy i got you i can link you up with my brother and he makes stuff way better than you see at the dispensary and i'm sure he can give you a better price he gives me the greatest deals so he's going on about it i show him some shatter i had i was getting a lot of shatter at the time it was years ago earlier in colorado springs before live resins and stuff were really hitting the shelves in all the stores i'd get a lot of shatter because i get such a good deal on an ounce or two so he's like oh yeah bro you gotta come visit my brother he's got slabs of this stuff all the time usually looks a little better than this so i'm sure you might get a nice little step up in quality if you start going to my brother so i'm obviously curious price society talks about it being better quality i want better quality right well i think i ended up going to meet his brother a couple days later not too far of a drive i had the atm rolled over to his house and i was ready for a slab i was ready for a slab Dude seemed pretty cool. He had dogs. I have dogs. I usually mesh with people who have animals. Walk into his house. He's got a nice little setup. There's smoke and there's dab and there's an e-nail setup. Just chilling in session. I remember I sat down in sesh for like 10 or 15 minutes before we even talked about the shatter that he had. And we weren't dabbing the slab in question here. We were dabbing some other stuff that looked really good. I brought a little bit of what I had because every time I'd go somewhere, I would just bring a little bit of concentrate just in case I wanted to do dab. I always had something to throw down. I'm not just like, oh, yeah, I'll do your dabs and then provide nothing. I usually showed up with something as good or better than the person who was hosting the sesh. But we're dabbing a little bit. And I'm in my head thinking that, oh, yeah, he's, he's going to offer me some of this. It's not bad. I've hit it a few times. I think I'm about to get a really good deal today. Well, after seshing for a little bit, he's like, oh, yeah, let me go grab the slam for you. You probably want to see what you're getting. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he's probably got more, obviously, somewhere else. We're just hitting a little bit that he's broke off. Clearly, this dude comes back a moment later and he puts this big old wad of paper on the table, just like thud, big old thud when it hits the table. And it's like, it's not a slab. Normally when you would see shatter, you would see a big old sheet of it, like a big slab. Some slabs were huge, but it's just like a ball of paper. And he's like, ah, there you go. Check it out. Huh? I start pulling the paper back. I'm opening it up a little bit. And inside of the paper, there's a hockey puck. I want to show you what the dabs look like, but the tubes has been really weird. So here's a representation of what they look like. And if you want to see the actual slab, I'm going to repost it on my Instagram today. I just found the old picture I took from several years ago. But oh my God, it was a hockey puck. 
I actually chuckled at first because I thought he was joking. I thought it was a joke. For a moment, I actually thought it was a hockey puck. I was bored in Florida. I didn't really play a lot of hockey. There's just this dark black circle in this wad of paper that was all disc shaped. It wasn't perfectly round, but it was also wadded up in the paper. I'm like, what am I looking at? This isn't dabs. And then I'm kind of chuckling there like, ha, 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 ha. And then it settles in like, no, they're serious. This is the shit that they're offering to me. This is the dabs. This is the slabs, bro. There was about... 80 grams of just like pure black concentrate. I remember I held up the slab and I held my phone flashlight to the back of it to see if I could shine a light through it. Because sometimes when you get a little thick slab of shatter or something, it's a little bit harder to see through just because it's so dense. Bro, zero light came through. Zero light came through this solid black slab of hockey puck, bro. I literally don't think that you could dab it if you wanted to. They thought I was actually going to go home with that. They thought I was going to show up, look at the hockey puck and be like, yeah, that's what I want. And then leave with it. It was actually wild. Like, that's a weird situation where I'm like, there's not a chance in hell that I'm getting this. And I remember saying like, uh, well, you know, this seems okay. But that other stuff we were dabbing, do you have any more of that? No more of that. He had no more of that. Like, these dabs were so bad, I've literally seen Reclaim better. It was actually wild how bad the dabs look. I didn't break a piece off. I didn't sample any. I even asked the dude that was there, I was like, how's it taste? Have you dabbed it? And he legit was like, oh, no, I haven't got a chance to try it yet. You haven't got a chance to try it yet? We just did 100 dabs on your other stuff while we were waiting for you to show me the hockey puck. You haven't had a chance? I know why you haven't had a chance. Chance is now, buddy. So I obviously didn't get the slab that day, but I think later down the road, I ended up getting some bubble hash off the guy, like eight ounces of it. You ever had just two big old jars full of bubble hash? That was a dang old good time. If you're interested to hear that story, let me know because I did so many hash bowls. After just having two big old jars full of it, how do you not do hash bowl after hash bowl? Come get high with me on Twitch tonight. I actually got the new Focus Carta 2. We're going to be testing it out. I'm charging it up, but I'm going to unbox it tonight and get super high with it. Twitch streams start at 9 p.m. Eastern. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can support me for free with Twitch Prime, baby. And if you want to hear what my favorite consistencies are for concentrates, check out this tier list right here.